Hi guys, it's me and Mark again. Hello. Hi. Hi guys. So today, today it's the same day. We are going to be testing uh, just first impressions on the Boucheron Paris line. I, I guess these are private collections. I'm not sure. I haven't heard a lot about these on YouTube yet. But we're just gonna give our quick thoughts. Let's start over here. Yeah. Ombre de Alexandre. I like how they did the theme with all the cities and his yeah. circle stuff. They have pictures as well to go along. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ombre de Alexandre, the city found by Alexander the Great. Oh, you're spraying me. Oh, city don't found spray by, me. City found by Alexander the Great. Let's see how that goes. Can I see the bottle? Mm -hmm. Can I see the bottle? Yes, you can. Okay, thank you. Do you want to go first or me? Yeah, Let's do you go first. Oh, this is pretty nice. What does it smell like? It's uh, hmm, it's hard to explain. Like a um, very decent apple pie cake. Really? Is it spicy like an apple pie? Yeah. yeah. Okay, while I give my thoughts on the next one, you can do the next one. Yeah. So, Ombre de Alexandre. It smells a little bit like ombre narguilé, but more spice. Yeah. A little bit. Like less sweet and less spicy, or more spicy than ombre narguilé. It's good though. Mmm. Now Mark, can you tell us a little bit about Carthage? Carthage uh, was the rival of the great Roman Empire and yeah. the famous general Hannibal was from there. Can you put the bag on the floor? With his famous, famous elephants over the Alps. You know how I know what Carthage is? No. From um, the gladiator. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, Oud de Carthage. But actually, uh, Hannibal, you know, never heard about Hannibal? No, but we're not doing a history lesson an, he today. Took elef <laughs> he, took, he brought elephants into warfare and took them over the Alps to conquer Italy. Okay. And he uh, actually uh, he actually won the battle, but then he went further into Italy, so the Romans still won in the end. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of Oud de Carthage? Carthage is, by the way, modern-day Tunis in Tunisia. Okay. And it's I knew that! <laughs> No, I knew about the one, it's because of Gladiator. <laughs> and it smells a bit like you would expect from there. It's a kind of like Is some kind of uh, uh, Mediterranean Arab market, I would say. Really? Yeah. Do yeah. you like it? Yeah, it's pretty nice. We'll put it like this so we can smell them later. Let me try the next one and you're gonna do yeah. the next. So this is Oud de Carthage. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I don't like this one. No? <laughs> no. Oh, that is pretty decent. It's, to me, it smells like a, a very synthetic oud. I'm not sure if they're really synthetic or not, but to me, it's like a chemically synthetic oud. Oh, I don't, I don't have that at all. No? No, no. Oh no, it's starting to calm down now on the paper. Now it's coming a creamy oud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that one takes some test, more testing, but yeah, the very first sniff was a very chemical oud, and now it's starting to become creamier. And even a little bit sweet. I'm not sure about that one. So the next one is Bani de Zanzibar. Zanzibar. You know which famous singer is from Zanzibar? Freddie Mercury. Yeah. <laughs> he was born there. Farouk Abul Zara was his actual name. Okay. So what do you think of that? Mm. It's nice, but it's too generic for my taste. It's not nice? Just vanilla. Meh? Just straight up vanilla. It's a very soft vanilla. Yeah. Do you like the Orchidea Vani or the Vani de Zanzibar? I would say the Vanita Zanzibar. Yeah, more better than the, yeah, the yeah, Van Clay from our pals. The Vanita Zanzibar is a very, very soft, subtle vanilla. Maybe a little too soft though, hey? It's very, very light. It's sweet, but yeah, it's okay. It's just okay. So the next one, Mark, is... Can we see the bottle? Can you hold it? Yeah. The next one is called Tuberos de Madras. Mm -hmm. Anything to say about that place? I know Madras is in India. Okay. Anything more you know about it? Or that's it? No, not so much <laughs> to be honest. Okay. So what do you think of the fragrance? Mm, it's not bad, it's not good. It's a bit boring to me. Boring? Oh, yeah. that's disappointing. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. You can try, uh, do the next one. It smells like a, a almost like a curry cumin floral. Really? Yeah. 
Okay, I didn't have that. Madras, you said, was in India, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, because yeah. I'm smelling the spices from there. <laughs> no, I don't have that at all. I don't like this. It almost smells like cooking, <laughs> like a kitchen. Okay. Well, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not like a big fan of Indian food, so maybe that's why. So, I don't like this one, tuberose de Madras. But if you like cumin, if that's in this, I think there's cumin in there. I think you would like it, or at least to try it. The next one is Neroli de Ispahan. Yep. Do you know, is Ispahan a place too? Here. Ispahan is in Persia or modern Here's later on. Yeah. Okay. I don't get Neroli. No? No. Okay, what do you get? Oh, maybe a little bit, very faint. Yeah, you have to look for it too much. Yeah, uh, I'm more get like a dessert. Dessert of what? Maybe a dessert and then a pie with a bit of lime in it or so. Oh. Or neroti then in this case, I would say. Okay. Yeah, I smell neroli, but it's like... Like a spicy neroli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do the next one, the last one. Yeah, this is like a, a soapy, spicy neroli. I don't like it either, Mark. I don't like this one. Yeah, very soapy, but not not too much neroli. Because I think whenever you sniff neroli, mm -hmm. you're thinking neroli portofino, where it's a very, mm -hmm. very strong floral. It's like more of a spicy, weird neroli. I don't like it, no. The last one is Iris de Syracuse. Do you know where Syracuse is, Mark? Yeah, Syracuse is uh, another city in the Roman Empire. I don't, no? I don't know. I don't know it's so New York, isn't it? Also, but it's also a city in the Roman Empire. Oh, is it? Yeah. There's a picture of like Everglades Mountains here. I'm not really so sure. So I'm not sure. What, yeah, it's, 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 Syracuse is in the Roman Empire. Isn't so it? It's also a university, it. isn't it? University? So, uh, but I, suppose, I could be wrong. <laughs> like, given the fact that these are all historical places, I'm pretty much sure they mean the Roman Syracuse. And not, okay. Uh, so what do you think of the iris? Okay, it's soft. Mm -hmm. It's soft, but once again, I, I think these fragrances are not that strong, none of them. No? No. Ooh, it's very irisy. This smells like a very straightforward, simple, no nonsense kind of iris. Almost like it's like the only note in here. I don't smell much more than that. Maybe like a little bit of sweetness of some kind. But a very simple, simple, like solely floor iris. Or is that the word? Anyway, let's get Mark's opinion on worst to best of what you like of these. Okay. Sixth place, uh, tuberose madras. Okay. Can you point to them, like right? Yeah. So that they know. Okay. Fifth place, neroli isfahan. Yeah. Fourth place, iris syracuse. Yeah. Third place, vanilla zanzibar. Yeah. Second, uta Touch. Yeah. First, Ambed Alexandri. You know what my order is? No. The same as yours? Okay. I think. Okay. Last place, the tuberose. Second last, Neroli. Third, Iris. Fourth, Oud. Okay. Then it's not the same. No. Second best is Vani. And the best by far, by far, 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 is the Ombre yeah, d'Alexandrie, yeah, yeah. so far. And I like it because it smells like Ombre Narguilé. So again, guys, if you guys have tried this, let us know in the comments what your favorites are. I Thanks this, for watching. I think this line is not that good, to be very honest. I don't think so either. It's very uh, soft performing, I think. I just think that they're not that great. Let's see what the prices are. Let's see. Can I grab you one here? 190. How about that? You want to spend 190 on it? Okay. So we get to be a lot better than that. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.